Hi everyone, today we're going to look into a component of English first language which is um, 1111 and we're going to look into travel writing which is um, writing a review and usually it is important for us to know that writing a review um, is often tested in your paper one. It is a component of your 111101, all right? So in terms of uh, travel writing, before we look into writing a review itself, we're going to look into the basic component of paper one itself yeah so if we look into paper one's component um english paper one non-fiction which is factual writing and you there will be two sections section a reading comprehension question and what we are looking into which is um uh, the video's uh, title itself which is travel writing will be tested in section b the writing question so this is factual base yeah so here we can see usually we will get a question on article writing review or report writing argumentative essay letters um, such as business letters or formal letter writing these are the type of essays that we tend to get in our um, english paper one which is your non-fiction paper okay so um, let's get to basically what is travel writing um, travel writing is writing about places, persons and things in other places, also writing about how to travel, when to travel and advice on traveling, all with the reader in mind. This is 100% engaging with the reader. Basically, we are reviewing, we are giving advice on how do we, uh, as we travel, what do we do. It is also about relaying your travel experiences to others so that they may emulate, emulate them or at the very least not make the same mistakes you did. So as we talk about advice and all, it is... Um, can be it is already highlighted in the second point where we talk about um, trying to let others learn that whatever mistakes that I have done, maybe I have booked, let's say I have booked a hotel which is further from the town that I have traveled to. So as I write a review, I'm going to include that part and give some suggestions to other travelers and readers, hoping that they do not do the same mistake like what I have done. Yeah, and the last point, it is writing about things in your own bag. Yeah, that are exotic to everyone else, a local farmer's market, a historic site or a restaurant and also museum so this is also to cover on um, certain things that people might not know of and i'm trying to bring the whole highlight to it okay now travel writing in terms of reviewing a place means if we get this kind of question and we're going to answer it for exam purpose remember to have a structure with which covers five paragraphs of writing a review for exam so whatever it is in in writing a review for travel writing you need to know that we're going to have five paragraphs all together basic is introduction content and conclusion as what you can see on the screen now so introduction is where we keep our readers hooked we need them to know that that um, we are able to get the attention as soon as we start off our writing and here is also where we reveal the review topic which is the place that we are reviewing about and also we need to keep the elements of suspense and engage with your reader we do not want to reveal everything in our introductory paragraph the moment we reveal everything in our introductory paragraph the reader will not read our second third fourth and also fifth paragraph anymore because everything is already mentioned in the first paragraph the key here is to give enough info but keep them reading as well Next part, under the content, is where we have our second paragraph, third paragraph, and fourth paragraph. So let's say, as an example, we are talking about we are traveling to one place. We can include such details like the opening hours, ticket, whether whether we need to pay certain price or not, what's the main attraction there, what can people do there, description on how the place looks like. Also, people in the place itself. We can include all these things. Yeah. So we will... Um, divide accordingly or segregate accordingly all these points with equal three paragraphs then the final uh, paragraph would be on conclusion where we sum up the review we mention clearly whether we recommend people to go for the place we have reviewed or not so um you can actually include it by saying it is highly recommended for everyone to visit cameron highlands let's see yeah so um that's about it when it comes to travel writing in terms of reviewing a place all right Thank you.